What's up Aquarius and welcome to my channel. I hope all my beautiful Aquarius out there are doing well. So Aquarius, this is going to be just a general. We're going to pull some messages and we're going to see what spirit has for you guys, okay? So if anything resonates for you, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. And comment. Let me know what's going on. Also, if you're interested in a personal, check out the description box for my email. But also check out my community tab, you guys, to see what type of readings I offer, okay? All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into this reading. We're going to start off with angel messages, okay? All right, and the first angel messages we have is the number one, okay? You could be seeing one, eleven, eleven, or one, 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 okay? You are very innovative at this time, okay? You're a self-starter, Aquarius. And it's like, with, with being this self-starter, you're able to create a lot of opportunities for yourself. You have a lot of determination. You have a lot of the endurance, okay? And you're very powerful. And this is going to help you get through those rough times and reach success, okay? So because you're an innovator, you're a self-starter, okay? You have determination and you have endurance. These are the tools that's going to help you move forward through those tough times. And it's going to make you be very successful at this time, okay? Also, you are very kind-hearted, okay, with the number 18. You are both open-minded and open-hearted, and your ambition is to leave this world better than you found it. Ensure that your goals are aligned with the collective need and the highest good of all, okay? So make sure that the things that you are doing is aligned in one with yourself and your divine path, but also with the collective, okay, because we're all connected under one source. Make sure that you're doing things that's going to be for your highest good, but also for other people's highest good, okay? All right, you guys, but let's see what type of energy is around you at this time, Aquarius. Messages for my Aquarius here. What type of energy is around them? Ooh, that came out quick. Okay, Aquarius, so we have someone around you that loves the way you smell, okay? So you can have some good smelling cologne or some good smelling perfume, okay? And it's like whenever you come come walking by, they be like, mmm, they go good smelling Aquarius, okay? Or Aquarius, this could be your energy, okay? Maybe there's someone you like, you know what I'm saying? They wear some good smelling cologne or perfume and you like the way they smell. For some of you, this could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? Or someone that you're very passionate about. And then someone here is reading your text messages all the time, okay? So, Aquarius, this sounds like someone that you're no longer communicating with at the time, okay? And the only way this person can feel your energy or, or you know, like when they get to thinking about you, it's like they go back and read text messages. Or this could be your energy. You could be reading some text messages from someone that you're no longer communicating with at this time. And you can be feeling like this is someone that you have a strong magnetic pull, okay? So, it's like even though... You may try to walk away from this person or, you know, something like that. It's like, what's that song by Chingy? Every time I, lie, I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. So it's like every time you try to walk away from this person, you know what I'm saying? You feel like something always pulls you and this person back together, okay? Let's get a couple more messages here, then we're going to see who this is. All right, Aquarius, but you got some new beginnings coming in, okay? This could be a new relationship, a new job, okay? This could be just a new phase in life. And this is happening, Aquarius, because you have completed some phases here, okay? Then we have someone in your energy that is unapologetic, okay? This person does not want to apologize for whatever that they did, Aquarius, okay? And this person does not see anything wrong with what they did. And this could be why they're having a hard time apologizing, okay? Because they don't see nothing wrong with what they did, okay? But this person is thinking about the past, okay? And that's why they are reading your text messages all the time. Okay, so, what must I tell you? All right, Aquarius, so we're going to see who this person is. Messages for my Aquarius. Who is this person that is reading their text messages all the time, okay? Who is this person that is thinking about a past with my Aquarius? Messages for my Aquarius. If anything resonates for you, Aquarius, don't forget to like this video, you guys, okay? Messages for my Aquarius. Who is this person that's thinking about the past? Ooh, Okay. So this person is thinking about the past, Aquarius, is thinking about a time where they were the most happiest, when they were the most content, you know what I'm saying, in life. And when that was, it was with you, okay? I feel like for a lot of you guys, too, this new beginning that you have coming towards you, baby, it's about to be about some money, okay? And you're going to be very happy. You're going to be very content in life, okay? So this person is thinking about the past, is thinking about a more happier time, okay? A more time that they were content in life. And I feel like that's when they were with you, okay? So tell us more, spirits. 
tell us more about this person that's thinking about the past. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands, okay? But for some of you guys, you're no longer having sex with this person. And you could have feel like that passion. Because remember I said, this could be someone that you had a very passionate connection with, okay? So that passion, that thrill, that fire desire you had from this, for this person, that shit has fizzled out, okay? So this person is thinking about a happier time that they had that was with you. But meanwhile, you over here like, shit, they love... Those feelings, that emotions, those feelings I have for you, it is over with. So, Spirit, tell us about the Ace of Wands in reverse. Messages for my Aquarius, Spirit. Tell us about the Ace of Wands in reverse. Tell us about the Ace of Wands, okay? So, a lot of you guys, you, you're standing in your power, okay? You're, you're very beautiful. You're very outgoing. You're very independent you guys okay and it's like you understanding or you realizing like shit this this something feels a lot over here you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna stand in my power i'm gonna have this new beginning i'm gonna enjoy this new phase in life you know and i'm just gonna do me all right so spirit tell us about the ace of wands tell us more about this ace of wands Okay, so for some of you guys, you're choosing to focus on yourself because this person does not want to work with you, okay? Or you could have felt like this connection fizzled out, okay, or the love or the passion fizzled out because this person didn't want to collaborate with you. They didn't want to work with you. They was too busy, you know, maybe doing other things or putting their energy other places, spirit. Okay, so tell us about the three of pentacles. This could be a um, earth sign. Okay, you guys, we got fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We got water, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. And we got... Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So tell us about the three of pentacles spirit. Why does this person want to work with my Aquarius? Mm. So for some of you guys, this person not want to work with you, okay? Because they could have been trying to get over some type of heartache and pain, okay? This could have been Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or a Libra in particular, okay? So before you met this person, this person could have been going, going through some type of heartbreak, or they were dragging out their heartbreak and that pain that they were going through going through and it was like they were allowing that heartache and that pain to consume them okay so this could have been why this person may have not been able to give you you know what you deserve and what you needed or they may not felt like anything was wrong with how they were treating you because they were going through heartache and pain okay and you guys know hurt people hurt people okay so this person was hurting they in return they hurt you as well okay all right you guys that's all i have aquarius if anything resonates for you, don't forget to like this video. And until next time, you guys, stay blessed.